Hey, how's it going everybody out there? This is Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a brand new unboxing impressions video. We're gonna be taking a look at this new coffee table book that was sent to me recently by Mark Ryden. Uh, it's called Anima Animals. It's a collection of his pieces of like various types of like artwork involving stuffed animals with the kind of like really weird, almost creepy type of vibe to it. As well as also just a lot of just different like interpretation of like what's cutesy and stuff. Uh, from when I first saw this, it kind of reminded me a little bit of like Tim Burton artwork in a sense, or at least that type of style or that design. But big shout out to Mark and his team for sending me a copy of this coffee table book. Uh, they asked me to take a look at it, review it, and unbox it for you guys. So as I'm unboxing this, I'm trying to get off the plastic here. Let me know what's up in the comment section down below. Uh, tell me if you guys enjoy all the different unboxing videos that we take a look at here on the channel. And this is actually pretty tough to get into. <laughs> this plastic, I'm going to do this all in real time here so i'm trying to like un like you know poke a hole into it i actually should have a little key to open this up use i'm going to use my key blade over here <laughs> to kind of open this up since it's got like a sharp edge to it there we go should have had that beforehand so taking off the plastic of it now and now this little thing in the back here is just like an extra little paper. I usually like keeping these with my books whenever I have a new coffee table book, especially some of the previous ones I've looked at in the past, like the Dark Horse ones. They'll have these things here and I like putting them inside because I wanna keep them as part of like the packaging, quote unquote, with the different books I look at. So I'm gonna put that to the side, but pretty much you can see here, it's got some of the different pieces from Mark's uh, new, uh, new assortment of uh, art pieces of artwork uh, and a lot of different stuff, but we're gonna go right into the book itself. Uh, this book here, it's kind of made from like a specific type of material that you find on a lot of hardcover books. It's not that glossy material, it's got like a texture to it. So if I could bring it up a little bit, you could probably make it out here on the camera. It's got a nice texture to it. It makes it feel like, okay, this is like a, you know, a more kind of like upper echelon type of book, which I like, I appreciate that from my various coffee table books. So let's open it up, take a look inside, see some of these pieces. Check it out, there's a lot. Again, it feels very, a little, got a little weight to it. Got a little dedication page, beginning sections of it, a lot of already looking at the wild pieces. So here we go. There goes Mark, I'm guessing that's a picture of Mark with all the different types of like pieces and other uh, elements of artwork that he's has. You got all the different stuffed animals stuff here, which is pretty nice, but now let's get some more of the different pieces there. We can see like two guards, he's like guarding his, his artwork, which is pretty cute. So he's got a statement here. I'm not gonna read this, but if you get the book, you'll see like a lot of different thoughts of what he has about different stuff. Uh, a lot of this is gonna be involving animals, a lot of stuffed animal stuff now. This is artwork, so I hope that YouTube doesn't get all upset at me with this video, but there is gonna be pieces of artwork in here, so be forewarned. If there's stuff like that, I'll try to minimize it as much as I can. Uh, but this is genuine artwork, okay? It's not like anything like too graphic or crazy. A lot of this stuff has to deal with animals according to Mark and his team, but as you guys could tell, it kind of reminds me a little bit, some of these things, looking at them now, a little bit of like Alice in Wonderland, as far as like the cutesy nature, almost the creepy type of nature to it, as you can see here. They got a little dog, is that a dog? Yeah, it's like a little dog or, or bear. Let me, I'm trying to look at it really close. Yeah, it's a dog. It's like a, it's kind of like a weird design for a dog. And a whole bunch of other different types of like, you know, imagery, you know, cutesy, like little girl, uh, what is it, playhouse type of imagery. You know, playing house, a little girl playing house with their stuffed animals, and be cutting up meat, <laughs> and all types of stuff, a whole bunch of meat things all over the place. Uh, again, look at all these like different types of like weird designs and like crazy like interpretations of like various different cutesy things. It goes, uh, I guess, a rabbit, or at least, yeah, it looks like a rabbit stuff. There's a couple other little pieces here. Look at this bear, what the heck? <laughs> oh my God. And then obviously the insides, the human insides of the of the young girl there, their doll. So we got paintings. Let's take a look at these paintings. Look at this. Look at this design right here. It's pretty wild. Now, even though art is in the eye of the beholder and everybody has their own outlook when it comes to pieces of artwork and stuff, uh, I think that as long as you kind of like, you know, appreciate like just the different types of perspectives and the different types of like, you know, interpretations or just like, you know, just the way that people just try to like render things a little bit differently than you. I think that's the best way to enjoy art. You know, even if it's artwork that's like not your thing, 
because not everybody in the world is going to see things from your same lens. There's always going to be like, you know, other types of people that find stuff either beautiful or ugly or unique or interesting or wild or crazy or diminished, whatever have you. A lot of this stuff, again, you're seeing many, you know, animal pieces like look at this. A lot of this stuff, we're getting to many of the things we see in the back of the cover here. Look at this, it reminds me of a deer, but the antlers almost kind of look like, if I get a little bit closer to them, it almost kind of looks like the tentacles of like an octopus, even though it's like the antlers of like a deer or an elk or something. Just like the texture of it, looking at that, it reminds me of like the little suction cups that you see in like an octopus's tendrils. But uh, there's like a QC little thing there, that's pretty funny. So a lot of paintings in here. Kind of almost reminds me of like the, the crazy rabbit from like Alice in Wonderland. But what is that piece called? Is it, it's called Jack Rabbit. So it is a rabbit, but crazy rabbit with a pipe and stuff. It's pretty wild. But again, skimming through the rest of this stuff, like I said, we're getting to a lot of sketches now, which is kind of cool. I appreciate that. Drugs. Look at Mark here with the pink suit match and the pink outfit. I like it. That's some good style there, Mark. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate the dedication right there. It looks good. Okay. And there goes the full painting itself. But that's him with the painting and then the full print out of the painting itself. So now we get to drawings and studies. I'm gonna kind of skim through this stuff a little bit faster just to kind of, you know, get to the point again. Most of this book, this is a coffee table book that you're just gonna put on your table or in your uh, living room and you're just gonna kind of just chill and peruse through it while you're having a cup of coffee or anything. Now we get to sculpture, which I like sculpture. Sculpture's really cool. It reminds me also of maquettes, which is kind of like the same thing. Check out these little sculptures. It's pretty dope. And the, he goes through the whole process. You're showing the process of him making it. That I think is pretty nice because uh, there, this I think is him painting. But I know from my time in an art school, okay, I went to college for some art stuff. This is very similar to like the setup which you would have in an art studio. I'm pretty sure in the background he's got like a kill somewhere where it actually like fires up some of the, what is it, some of the stuff that he makes out of clay or anything besides him painting and stuff. And there you go. I think that, is that a kill? Yeah, I think that's a kill. I'm pretty sure that's a kill because I can see like the burnt marks on the top. But yeah, that's when they fire up after painting the pieces. It kind of like gives it like a glossy texture or really kind of like changes up the, the color and gives it what it's supposed to look like in the final look. Pretty darn good. Installations. I'm guessing these are where uh, different like paintings are hung up or like displays. I like stuff like this. I've been to a couple art shows, uh, you know, in various different points, you know, during my college career and afterwards where we went to galleries like this and we got to see different pieces. Some places have really wild pieces of artwork. So other places have really dope ones. Other places have just weird things. Again, the art world is a very weird, different place other than gaming. Let me put it that way. <laughs> but it is nice to see all this stuff. So there you go, there's the end of the book. Gets to all the credits and stuff. I'm guessing it also has the listing of all the different types of paintings that he has. There's artwork. So, oh, look at that. A little artsy, like, you know, plush toy thing there. That's pretty cool. So if you're someone that likes having various coffee table books in your collection, in your home, you know, if you just like stuff, you know, for people just to chill, or even if you're someone that has like a business and likes putting stuff out there for people to look at, this is a pretty neat book. If you're part of our crowd in the gaming scene and maybe you're not into weird things like that, maybe this won't be for you. This is definitely not going to be for everybody. But as far as what it is, as far as a coffee table book, it's not too fat. Again, I like bigger, fatter, meatier coffee table books, but this is still pretty nice for an art book just to peruse through, just to chill out with. It's got a lot of weird designs or a lot of out there designs and some great artwork by Mark here. So definitely check it out whenever you get a chance if you're into this type of stuff. But those are my thoughts about Anima Animals by Mark Ryan and his team. Again, big shout out to them for sending me a copy of the book. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Tell me, are you a big fan of coffee table books? Do you like stuff like this? What other types of books or other types of things you guys want to see me here unbox and give impressions on here on the channel? With that being said, I will talk to all of you again very soon. Peace out and stay epic, everybody. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Go ahead and click the boxes on the side to see more videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to go visit my Patreon page for exclusive gaming content that I know you'll really love. Hope you have a chill day. Peace out and stay epic, everybody.